come before you and say, I actually lost white population of my community. I lost them. They left. They left. I didn't ask them why. They left. So, whites move in. It's gentrification. Whites move out. It's white flight. So, either way, they complain. You know, they're for open borders having thousands, millions of people come here, but they're against colonization. These people are hypocrites on so many levels. It's, um, it's not funny. So if you see one or two or three or four or five whites in my neighborhood, they're passing through. <laughs> But that's on a serious that's kind of funny. We've got 13,000 black elected officials in this country. We've yeah. had mayors, we've had governors. Okay, had fine. There's no problem with that as long we as they respect. So far, this is what? Zero. What did he say? Whites in my neighborhood, they're passing through. Okay, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Ha ha! This woman laughs. Which is black elected officials in this country. Pretty white, but okay, whatever. We have city council That's members. cool. We need I have no problem with black representatives. So far, this is He said we need to get radical. More radical than now? These people are pretty radical <laughs> already. How can they get more radical? They've already deplatformed us. They call us radicals because we dare resist their cultural revolution, their Marxist agenda. That we're the supposed radicals, but they said they need to get more radical. How are they going to get more radical than a full blown cultural revolution? How, without, basically, we're already in a Cold War, kind of in between us. But to get more radical, to actually, what, you know, actually declare figurative war against us? How do you get more radical? They're very burning and looting, soft on crime, defund the police. What else? And that's not radical enough? Their cities are falling apart. They can't get the hint. Look at their leftist, Marxist agenda from their big cities. And that tells the story. It can't get no worse. Other than full, complete apocalypse. I mean, can not walk down the streets without stepping in human Fecal matter, and these people think they need to get more extreme, more radical. Like, how do you? The only way to escalate is full blown civil war. Is basically that's how how they treat us. They've already pretty much declared us the enemy. And they keep coming after us on all levels. The only next step is an actual civil war. And they want to get more radical. Oh my god, really? And of course, we'll have to hold our ground, stand our position and say no. Then they don't call us all oh, those extremists. Those crazy extremists. They're... they're we gotta persecute, prosecute them with 90 sold charges against the former president. We gotta get rid of them. Oh my god, this is driving me nuts. People like this. He's just a one of many. I mean, he's not just a fringe person on the edge. He represents the leftist Democrats, the majority of them, their mindset. Oh my god. All right. I'm... All right. Good morning. Good night. Where are you at in the world? What time it is?
and God help us.